I am announcing that I'm running for president of the United States. Why wait? Texas Senator Ted Cruz becomes the first Republican to say he's running for the White House. Yeah, others have hinted strongly at times that they're about to throw their hats into the ring, but Cruz beats the pack with today's announcement. Our Jeff Gillen looks at the reception he can expect here in Nevada. Jeff? Jim and Jess, good evening. The election is 596 days away. Potential candidates have already made stops here in Nevada. The sense is Cruz needs to get here to introduce himself. I am thrilled to join you today at the largest Christian university in the world. That's Ted Cruz, social conservative, unabashed conservative Christian, coming to a campaign trail near you and, we're told, coming to Las Vegas. Well, I'm just going to be very blunt. Amy Tarkanian is the former chairperson of the state Republican Party. I have not heard of one person that's actually going to support him. Tarkanian not hearing any Cruz buzz and referring to other candidates beating Cruz to Las Vegas. January 16th, Rand Paul. February 18th, Marco Rubio. March 2nd, Jeb Bush. GOP consultant Zach Moyle. It's hard to see anyone else right now uh, as a front runner other than Rand Paul, considering the infrastructure he already has in place uh, from his father. Moyle says Cruz not only has to face that, but also navigate a complicated caucus that gave Ron Paul thousands of votes in 2008 and 2012. Rand Paul is the only candidate that has a base built in. Everyone else is going to have to establish that. I believe in the power of millions of courageous conservatives. Cruz's social conservatism will find fans in Nevada, of course. Cruz is expected to target big Christian churches like the International Church of Las Vegas, where he's expected to appear the end of April. Moyle, who's not working for Cruz, advises the senator to brush up on local issues. And of course, how you say Nevada, uh, that I'm sure he's working on that right now. And when he comes out here, that'll be one of the first things I'm looking for. And Senator Cruz will not have the official field to himself for long. Rand Paul is expected to officially kick off his run for the White House on April 7th. Jim, back to you. All right.